Did you know that the painted frogfish can eat prey its own size? Hi, I'm Brandon, and welcome to Nature Meets Paper, the place where we go on an adventure to discover the world of marine biology. If you don't know, I'm a marine biologist who shares my love of the oceans through art to you. Today we will be discovering the painted frogfish. Are you ready? Let's dive in! The painted frogfish lives in tropical waters near the Indo-Pacific and the Red Sea. I will insert a map as a visual. They live between 0 and 75 meters deep. They are found around soft corals, sponges, and sandy grass beds. Juvenile frogfish have been seen mimicking nudibranchs or sea slugs. What does a frogfish look like? Frogfish are masters of camouflage. They don't have scales and vary in color. They prefer soft corals and sponges because they can match not only the color, but their texture. The painted frogfish are benthic and stay on the bottom of the seafloor. They have specialized pectoral fins for walking. These fish don't really swim. They just like hiding in the squishy, waving sea life. So, why do they need to hide? Most animals use camouflage to avoid predators, but this fish is hiding from its prey. They are known as ambush predators. The painted frogfish has special nodules that grow out of its skin to look like branches of coral. Some grow fake eye spots that look like the pits of sponges. All of them can change color slowly. It takes about a week to change their color. Most frogfishes shift from black to white, but can be sand colored, pink, red, orange, yellow, and brown, making this fish very difficult to identify. Another special feature of this fish is a modified dorsal lure. This lure looks like a small shrimp swimming in the water. If this lure gets eaten or damaged, it can be regrown. That is amazing. If you are lucky enough to see a painted frogfish, let everyone know in your dive group. You will be the most popular person on that dive, and they would love to see it. So, what does the painted frogfish eat? We know they are ambush predators, so they probably don't eat plants or algae. There's no need to hide from plants, they're not going to get you. The frogfish has an adapted mouth that creates a vacuum when extended or opened quickly. This vacuum slurps the prey into its mouth into, in a flash. Frogfish are carnivores and eat small fish. The frogfish is only about 12 inches long, but they can eat prey their own size. I didn't see anything that eats the frogfish either. I also couldn't find any listings of it on the IUCN red list. Now you know what that means. It means we need more people doing research on the painted frogfish. So go out and do some research. It is time for personal stories. I was asked if I could go see a frogfish to feature on this channel, and luckily I know exactly where to find some. It turns out that the Maui Ocean Center has a few painted frogfish on display. Some fish I interact with cooperate perfectly, and that's really nice. The frogfish does not. I tried several times to get great pictures of this fish, but it likes hiding and not being seen by the public. I was fortunate enough to see one repositioning itself and walking around. I got as many pics as I could of it facing forward. I wanted you to just be able to see the face. I wanted to also see the stance near the coral. I wanted to see its big mouth and see how well it could hide. I may or may not have blocked the view of other people at the aquarium, but I wouldn't know that because I was watching an awesome fish. It sat there looking all grumpy as most frogfishes do because its mouth is turned down. Then it went motionless and blended into the pink coral around it. I had to run along to catch up to my family. They don't take as long as I do at aquariums. I will call this painting finished. Thanks for going on this adventure with me. It means so much that you take time to discover something new to watch by watching these videos. 
I want to thank you for being an active member of this community by leaving likes, comments, shares, and subscribing. All my links are down in the description below. Remember, share your discoveries and adventures with a friend. I've been Brandon, and I'll see you in our next adventure.